research portion of our show. And with us today is Ralph Dricciano. And Ralph. thank you for that intro. We're going to try to cover four topics today. First, being magnesium may be as important to kids. Bone health as a calcium. Surprise ending. Children with milk allergy may be allergic to school. Parents who suck on their infant's pacifiers may protect their children against developing allergies. Research reveals the possible reason for cholesterol drug side effects and vitamin E identified as potential weapon against obesity. Of course, that's after the drug companies tell you to stop taking it. And to start off, magnesium may be as important to bone development in children as calcium. This article basically published in the Pediatric Academy at Academic Societies, otherwise known as PAS Annual Meeting in Washington, D.C. What they did was this. Researchers recruited 63 healthy children ages 4 to 8 who were not taking any multivitamins or minerals to participate in the study. Children were hospitalized overnight twice, so their calcium magnesium levels could be measured. And here's a surprise finding they found out. Results showed that the amounts of magnesium consumed and absorbed were key predictors of how much bone the children had. Dietary calcium intake, however, was not significantly associated with total bone mineral content or density. So they may have to turn your world on as far as a way of thinking may be in reverse. The magnesium may be more important than the calcium. It's kind of tough to believe, but it looks like it may be that way. So it may take a while, but look at your children's diet. Make sure they're getting past salmon, salmon, almonds, and of course, they say basically long other foods that are high in magnesium, which are real important. So almonds are real easy to get into a child's diet. So you think about it, magnesium is real important as far as increasing that bone density. All right. Children with milk allergy may be allergic to school. Because we just talked about calcium, now we're talking about milk. Well, about 300,000 children have milk allergies. Of course, they believe most children grow out of the milk allergies by the age of three. Of course, these milk allergies can cause shortness of breath, asthma, wheezing, you name it, all across the board. And that's the key word, board. Because certain things in schools, actually everywhere, can trigger milk allergies without having to consume it. And one of these surprises is chalk. Low dust chalk uses milk or casein, so to say, in order to reduce the dust load of that chalk. Casein and milk protein, as they say, is often used in low powder chalk. When milk allergic children inhale chalk particles containing casein, life-threatening asthma attacks and other respiratory issues can occur. This was published in the Annals of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. And just as a side note, Milk proteins can also be found in glue, paper, ink, and of course other places in children's lunches we never even guess. So something to think about if your child's allergic to milk or if you're allergic to milk, watch out for that chalk. It may cause an allergic reaction and you'll never know why. Or paper, ironically. Next, one that sounds kind of gross but has an incredible health benefit. Parents who suck on their infant's pacifiers may protect their children against developing an allergy. It has been suggested that exposure to harmless bacteria during infancy may be protective against developments of allergy. However, it was difficult to pinpoint which bacteria a baby should be exposed to and at what time and which route of exposure. In a group of 184 children, I read it verbatim, who were followed from birth, the researchers registered how many infants used a pacifier in the first six months of life and how the parents cleaned the pacifier. Most parents rinsed the pacifier in tap water before giving it to the baby after it had fallen on the floor. However, some of the more grosser parents out there also boiled the pacifier to clean it, yet other parents had the habit of putting the baby's pacifier in their mouth and cleaning it by sucking before returning it to the baby. It was found that children whose parents habitually sucked the pacifier <laughs> were three times less likely to suffer from eczema at age of one and a half years as compared, as compared to children whose parents did not do this henceforth boil or wash. 
When controlled for other factors, they concluded risk of developing allergies, such as the parents delivering by C-section, ironically, and the beneficial effect of peril and suckling the pacifier remain. So that's something to think about. We know when the child is born C-section, they do miss a lot of the beneficial bacteria. So children which are born through C-section, it may be an added benefit for their parents. Well, if you lost the bacteria one way, start sucking in that pacifier and put it in your baby's mouth. You never know. You can save them for a lifelong uh, effect of developing asthma or eczema. Sounds gross, but hey, if it works, what the heck. All right. Now, let's look at it this way. What if I told you there's a medication out there that basically have a significantly negative impact on your daily life, your interpersonal relationships, and your ability to hold a job? Mm. Sounds like taking this medication may line you up for the unemployment line. Well, in an article titled, Research Reveals Possible Reason for Cholesterol Drug Side Effects, is this the reason why? University of Arizona researchers have identified a clue to explain the reversible, it's reversible, memory loss sometimes caused by the use of statins, one of the most widely prescribed mm. medications in the world. So the University of, this is kind of interesting, they didn't plan on discovering this, but it's fun on how they did. University of Arizona researcher team made a novel discovery in brain cells being treated with statin drugs. They found out there was unusual swelling within the neurons called the beads on a string effect. It's so bad, it's very noticeable and basically threw them for a loop. And what they did is this only happened with statins. And this was published in Disease Models and Mechanisms. How they discovered was this. Clinical reports know that statin users are often told by physicians that cognitive disturbance experienced while taking statins were likely due to aging or other effects. However, the University of Arizona's team research offered additional evidence that cause of such declines in cognition was due to the negative response to statins. They also found that the team removed, when they removed the statins, the disappearance of the beads on a string also restored normal growth. And this is how they discovered it. I apologize. At the time, using a blind screen library of 1,040 drug compounds, the team read tests on fruit fly neurons investigating the reduction of defects caused by mutation when neurons were exposed to different drugs. The team had shown that one mutation caused neuron branches to curl instead of straight, but certain drugs corrected this. The research findings were published in the 2006 Journal of Neuroscience. Then something, then something serendipitous occurred. Say Big Kraft, who was one of the researchers, observed that one compound, then another, and two more created all the exact same reaction. Mm -hmm. That this, these bulges, which were called beads on a string, Kraft said, were only the end, were caused by statins, and statins were the only drugs to cause this beaded neuron effect. At the end of the early investigation, the team decoded the library and found that four compounds that resulted in a beads on a string were, in fact, all statins. The team would later determine that after removing the statins, the cells were able to repair themselves and neurotoxicity was not permanent. And this is important because even in adults, they realize it's reversible. When you go on statins, yeah, you're becoming goofy and everything else like that. When you went off, it was reversible. What's important and their concern was this, is the given statins to children now. Mm. If statins have an effect on how the nervous system matures, this could be Devastating, said the researchers. Memory loss of any disruption in memory and cognition can have quite severe effects and negative consequences. Think about that when doing statins. Unfortunately, my time is up, so I won't be able to run the next one, but thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Ralph. Once again, thank you for joining the show. We appreciate it. Do your research and ask questions if you need help from us. Thank you.